a big debris ball. Since 2010, I've been storm chasing and documenting severe weather, but I just recently started streaming severe weather more and more. Whoa, big tornado, big tornado. Well, sometimes it works out and I can get the car in the right place in the right spot at the right angle for streaming. Tornado, uh, we have a tornado. Tornado, tornado, tornado. Sometimes I have to battle through tough roads and bad terrain to get a good view for the stream while also shooting video, which I also really want to do. Sorry, the autofocus is killing me, guys. That is until now, hopefully, as we're going to try and build a 360 roof mounted camera uh, in order to improve the live stream, in order to get uh, better views of things like that. And also, more importantly, allowed me to utilize the camera I'm filming on right now to actually record the storm and not focus on the live stream as much because the live stream itself will already be in theory pretty much set up so we have some pieces in play here I found this pan tilt zoom camera 4k webcam by a company called wow um, I went to their website and it doesn't exist anymore um, I found these domes as well they're clear domes i did put some baseballs to it and it did seem to hold up so in theory this shouldn't be a problem for hail but we're just going to roll with this uh two by two for now uh and then we are using four 100 pound magnets uh, on the bottom that'll help uh build a little bit more support and in addition we're also going to get some ratchet straps put it across as well we're going to weatherproof it with just some auto weather seal we're going to tape it to the bottom of this here and that way when we if we ever have to remove the dome and all that it's not going to rip the sealant because it's really just going to be the pressure of these four screws holding the dome down that'll in theory hold this in place uh, we do have one other hole that i'm going to drill for the cable uh, this will be the usb cable that goes to the computer uh, like so this camera does have the standard uh, camera uh, screw hole to you know the universal port here so I have some that will match it they're the uh, 20 threaded uh, quarter inch but you can see there's zero color there doesn't seem to be much in terms of reflection issues as well we're gonna make sure that the baseboard uh, that we are putting the camera on is gonna be this matte black uh, so in theory, the matte black should prevent any type of reflection uh, going on the inside if say you're in bright light or bright sunshine Again, we got a sticky side. And then the idea, of course, is to just drill through it. two of our little project here and we've made some adjustments we got a few new things so what we're going to use now are kind of these bolts with like little the butterfly thing jigs and then uh, we'll just do that to that thing and that should be enough to hold the dome in place and also make it a little bit easier to remove The original plan was to use these guys. The problem is if you try and screw it, it's just gonna be hitting up against the dome. Um, so I also got just standard little nuts instead. We'll just use these. Uh, that will work good enough for my purposes. It won't be probably as easy to get this on and off, but it doesn't matter as long as the dome is held on. And clearly it is. So day three of this project, I think we're almost done. A few touches we're gonna do to the camera and stuff like that. That's before we actually paint this. That'll be the very final thing that we do. Uh, we are actually gonna do some replacement though on the camera. 
um, have done a little bit more research on that and came across this Obsbot Tiny. Um, you can actually do some controls of pan and tilt uh, with the Stream Deck. And so I found a way to do that. And so I think that's what we're going to do because it'll make it a little bit easier to control this thing from the inside. So we'll have to redo some wiring and things like that. But I do think that's gonna be the way to go. Camera's good to go. Let's go ahead and plug the camera now on the roof into here we are going to launch OBS which is how we run our live streams uh, while we do storm chasing and all that kind of stuff and we're going to have to pick the new camera uh, on the roof which is now the Osbot Tiny okay and there we go we have our first feed from the camera plug and play worked right away which is super nice we have the stream deck right here we're going to just plug it into the computer um, i already did some pre-programming to kind of make sure this works and all that kind of stuff and so i want all my controls to be right here in the stream deck you can see how we already have thumbnails so what i want to do then is to do pan left and you can already see that it's already working up there um, so everything is seemingly working just fine thus far How well it would handle high humidity and kind of as I expected the dome definitely has some condensation issues on the inside. There are a few different ways you can try and rectify that. One is to add heat. Kind of like the way you would defog or defrost your windshield. You blow some heat at it to warm this up above the saturation point in order to get the water to decondensate or evaporate into the air. That's one way of doing it. I'm not gonna be able to get a heater in here, so that's likely not going to be the solution. Another way you can try and get rid of the condensation side would be to circulate some air, blow some air, kind of in a similar way that you would defog or defrost a windshield, just blowing some air and allowing that to actually help uh, evaporate some of the condensation that we can actually accomplish. And so the plan is to add a fan, a small kind of computer fan, inside of here to blow some air around. And we're actually going to be using some components that I've had for a while. Back in the day I did some research uh, and built some weather research instruments including this J2. In order to get the um, humidity temperature data from inside this properly, you would have to circulate the air through the tube and you would do that with one of these small fans. Therefore, we're going to be using one of these fans to do it. And we can actually power it with USB. I also conveniently have one of these kind of a PC fan to USB-A type of ports. This jacker is going to likely be a bit overkill for what we are utilizing, but you can get the idea. USB on. And you can see we got some air circulation now, courtesy of this small little USB fan. We're onto this. And then we'll go ahead and just wipe the dome. Fan USB port through here. Right. 
have the stream deck set up here for controls. For so example, uh, that's a preset for looking straight right. Real easy to look straight right if we're driving, you know, parallel or along a storm. I've got the home button to go straight up to the front as well. If you we want to perfect things a little bit, we do have pan and tilt individual controls all built into the Steam Deck here. Um, I do have the ability to jump through some of the presets, uh, scenes, and things like that, all built into OBS. This is pretty much going to be the finished form uh, for this setup. Um, here we are in bright daylight and everything seems to be running A-OK. -okay. You can see the internal reflection really isn't too bad at all. I think the uh, black paint on the uh, base has really helped a lot. Dim it up a little bit. There's your sun. Look back to the front. And overall, I am absolutely thrilled how this project turned out. I think the design has worked really well. Um, it's not its finished form yet. I do think I'll be doing some improvement on um, making the base more sturdy, probably adding some metal to the base. That's ultimately what is likely something I will be doing in the near future. But overall, the dome works terrific. Um, definitely make sure to follow along on this channel for more live streams, more coverage of severe weather live. Uh, we will have this brand new camera that kind of helped facilitate those moves. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, subscribe for future storm chasing. We'll see you again at the next video. 60 DBZ core now on radar, just east of Hillard. A few lightning strikes with it. About to get a good view here of the base. I'm gonna give it some distance here, just in case we have any deviant northward movement. We still have northwesterlies here, so any circulation is south of me. I don't want to get too close to the outer circulation of this thing.